the toilet for the children, especially the ones we have for the lower primary, they are not good, uh, whereby it forces them to go to the bush and eat themselves from there. By doing so, they have even, some of them are even getting out of schools and getting mad at an age because they fear the conditions they are learning, they are not favorable. The government gave us just five senses. We couldn't cope up with those, the population, so this is the, the structure has made by parents' contribution. I wonder what happened with the, the Nani the Mastron duty today. They could have been, they have been killed by today, they are very dirty, and that's why the people were even fearing to, to go there. So we also appreciate the contribution from the parents and the community to put up these structures. We expect the administration to properly look after them well as we continue lobbying and plan for more facilities from the government. A few, and even the way they are made, they are not conducive for the, for the grown-up girl child to go there. So it also makes some girls to, to leave school. Mm. Then the bathrooms. You find that for us at, as a school, we don't have the what? The bathroom for these grown up what? Children, where they can change when they, they are in, when they are in periods. So that one also, you, you find that when the girl reach, when that time comes, some of them, they start home. Because it cannot ever cater for the school's huge population. Parents collected funds to construct another block for the lower classes. The children line up to use the latrines, but the state of the facilities is deplorable. The latrines are dirty, and the weak timber laid across the top of the pit places the children at risk of falling in. This latrine block constructed by government has two separate sides, one for the girls and the other for the boys. There are no hand-washing facilities either.